Hi, Calvary Church. Uh, my name's Navon, and today I get to share a midweek moment with you guys, and I'm super excited to just be able to share what God has been teaching me through his word. So we're going to be in Titus chapter two, um, and this is one of the more uh, famous or most looked at passages in Titus, but um, I just would want to show you what God has shown me through this passage. So starting in verse 11, it says, for the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in the present age, looking for the blessed hope and, gl and glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from every lawless deed and purify for himself his own special people, zealous for good works. Speak these things, exhort and rebuke with all authority, let no one despise you. So there's three things that I can see that God does in this passage with his grace. God's grace saves us, God's grace trains us, and God's grace sustains us. So the first thing we see in verse 11 is that the grace of God has appeared to all men. And this is no other than no other person than Jesus Christ who died and rose again and saved us from our sins. So that's already a huge thing that God's grace has done for us. And when we have faith in that, we are saved. So then in verse 12, we see that God's grace is teaching us to live um, godly lives. And that is a lot of times people can see godly living as a curse, but really it's freedom and it's a gift. It's a gift of God that we can actually live holy and pleasing to God. So God's grace saves us. God's grace trains us. And then the last thing, God's grace sustains us. So we see that um, it says looking for a blessed hope, looking for the blessed hope and glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. And there's nothing that should get us more excited than the future resurrection of Christ when he comes back and comes for his bride and when he comes back for all of us. And in the world we live in right now, it's just a unsettling time, but we should have hope and have joy in the fact that our God hasn't forgotten us and he's coming back for us. And we should share that same hope with others. And that last verse, it says, speak these things. So what are we talking about? Are we telling people and exhorting them to live holy? Are we telling people about Jesus and how he has come to save them? Are we telling people that Jesus is coming back and there is judgment, but for those who are saved, that he's also coming to bring them back to himself? Um, with Facebook and other distractions, we can spend our time and be debating or talking about other things. But in God's word, he's revealed to us so many things that we can share to encourage or up uplift others. So um, this word definitely spoke with me and I hope it resonates with you. And I really just pray that God would speak to you in your own devotional time and through this word. So I'll see you guys later and I hope you have a nice day.